Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is No Saint Left Behind once again. Coming to you with another lesson for the day. I hope it's edifying. First, I just want to start off with saying, uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikar Kodash. That's the Most High in the name of His Son and in the name of the Spirit. And double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akims and Akwams out there that's rehearsing these Lost Dead's commandments to the best of their ability. And shout out to the brothers, the Akim, that's out there building their faith and um, teaching his word and doing what the Most High um, has ordained for them to do. Shout out All right, I want to get into this um, 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 Israel striking uh, Gaza, which is going on now. And uh, Gaza, they saying Gaza struck Israel first earlier. So net now you... Um, Cut um, Net and not a Jew, Net and Nahu, whoever his name is, cut his visit to the U.S. short and went back, and now he's striking um, Gaza. And um, Syria's mad, Iran's mad, Turkey's mad. So it's a lot of things that's about to go down. And you know, this just rumors of war. And um, I'm going to uh, let you. Um, uh, first, I'm going to go to a scripture. Let me give you a scripture first, and then we'll go. Let me see. Let's go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24, let's get a scripture, man. Um, Matthew's 24 and uh, 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end shall not yet. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes, in divers, uh, divers places. So we have that going on right now. And uh, I'm going to see verse 8. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. So we have a lot of that going on right now. And um, so we're going to get into this thing. And I'm going to let you see this, um, what they're talking about. And we'll go to another scripture too and end it. So we got different things going on with, with uh Israel and Gaza, and then we got different things going on with um, Venezuela and America, because um, Russia just sent some troops over there over the weekend, so we're going to get into that too. So let's go to here. Welcome back, everyone. It's Dina Calmetti here with CWW7 News. And for today's broadcast, I wanted to bring you some updates that have occurred late last week and into the weekend. And I first would like to talk about Israel. It is being reported by Fox News, as well as many other sources, that the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, had cut short his trip in Washington, D.C., and was set to return to Israel later on Monday after a Gaza rocket attack struck a home in central Israel, wounding seven people. Netanyahu, who was in the United States to meet with President Trump, called the Monday morning rocket launch a criminal attack and vowed to strike back hard, stating that there has been a criminal attack on the state of Israel and we will respond forcefully. In a few hours, I will meet with President Trump. I will then return to Israel immediately afterward. And Netanyahu did not waste any time. The Times of Israel is reporting that Gaza strikes have begun in response to the rocket attack, with multiple reports of blasts heard from the border area. The army says that at this time, the IDF has started to attack terror targets belonging to the Hamas terror group throughout the Gaza Strip. So definitely a very serious situation. And I will continue to keep you updated. So you heard that. And so that's that's rumors of wars going on because that's going to make Syria and Iran, Turkey and Russia get involved with it too because it's going to it's going to escalate from there. So I'm going to read this Matthew 24, uh, 6 and 7 again. It says, and ye, verse 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers, in divers places. 
All these are the beginnings of sorrow. So we see that we are in the beginnings of sorrow, man. And it's about to take off, man. World War III is about to start at any time, man. It's going to start off very small before they get into nukes and things like that. But it's about to kick off, you know. Let's go here. Let's see what's going on in Venezuela. Then we get some more scriptures. Matter of fact, let's get a scripture first. Let's go to um, let's go to let's go to Revelations. Let's go to Revelations and uh, Revelations two. Yeah, Revelation six. Revelation six and two, and it says, "I'm gonna read all the way down here." Revelation chapter six verse two, and I saw. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai. You know, he went forth conquering and to conquer. And that's what's going to happen when this World War Three get kicked, started out. He's going to come back, and when he come back, he's going to come back killing people, putting people to death. All right, verse 3, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see, verse 4, and there went out and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth, and that they shall kill one another, and there was given unto him a great swore. Now this red horse represents it represents power, but it also represents Esau, the so-called white man, the Edomites, the red Hebrew Edomites. This is who verse four is talking about. Read it again. It says, "And there went out another horse that was red," and this is talking about the so-called white man, the uh, red Hebrew Edomites. And power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth. And so that's what these Edomites doing, man. They they taking peace out of earth. Once they take this peace out of earth, that's when all these they're gonna have war over in uh, Israel. It's gonna be war in Venezuela. It's gonna be war in different places, man. And this thing is gonna grow and grow and grow. And so that's the so-called white man, the Edomites, taking the peace out of earth because he's about to start a war. You you just seen that uh, Israel, uh, Netanyahu Jew, Netanyahu is attacking Gaza, the Palestinians. So this thing is about to kick off, man. I'm, I'm going to continue on. And that they should kill one another. And see, that's what they're going to do. They're going to kill one another. Then Yahweh Shai, Michael, and Michael the archangels, and angels going to return and finish them off. And they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And that great sword is um, the thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, let me see. Let me show you this great sword. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you his great sword. So, let me see. This is his great sword right here, man. It was given unto him a great sword. You see these nuclear missiles? This is the Edomite's great sword. All right, this is what they're going to use to to finish taking peace out of the earth. Nuclear missiles, man. And they're going to come from everywhere. So that's that great sword. I'm going to read that again. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out, excuse me, another horse that was red. That's Esau, the Edomites, the red Hebrew Edomites. And power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth. And that they shall kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. And the Edomite is going to be killing one another. Russia and America going against each other. A lot of these Turks uh, are Edomites, and a lot of these Iranians, a lot of these different people are Edomites too, man. You know, they all mixed up, man. They all Edomites. A lot of them Edomites. A lot of the Chinese are Edomites. Now let's go to here and read this uh, report about. Um, that I've seen in Top Buzz about Venezuela. It says uh, Venezuela military deploys S-300 missiles following Russian troops arrival. See, Russian troops have arrived already in Venezuela. 
And this came out March the 25th, 2019 at 10.13 a.m. And so that was when? Saturday? So they got these um, um, S-300 missiles and these Russian troops are there in Venezuela. Let's go ahead. Let's read a little bit of it. The post was originally published on, okay, I just told you that. Let me see. Okay, following the major weekend development of Masco, of Mas, Masco, I can't even pronounce it, Masco, Masco, and unobligated, unoblig, ugh, I can't even get the words out, un, unbig, uh, unambiguously, Asserting its red line concerning potential U.S. military intervention in in um, Venezuela, so the Russians saying since America thinking about going into Venezuela with their troops, you know, Putin sent his troops there. Okay, uh, uh, potential U.S. military intervention in Venezuela, for which Russia sent a military transport plane filled with Russian troops. Which landed in Karachas Saturday. New satellite images reveal a major development of S-300 air defense missiles systems to a key air base south of Karachas. Karachas. So, and that's that right there, man. You know. So this is the satellite system. Send all these S-300 missiles. So Russia is there, man. And it's about to go down. And so that let, that's let you know, man, it's going to be wars, wars and rumors of wars. And so we see this thing taking place before our eyes, man. All right. Now let's go here. Let's get another scripture about that. Let's go to Haggai. Let's go to Haggai 2 and 22. And uh, it reads, Hey God, 2 and 22, and I will overthrow the kingdom, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. And the heathen are all these nations, you know, the Chinese, the Japanese, the so called white man, the Edomites, you know, the Ishmaelites, the Muslims, you know, all these different kingdoms, the Africans. They're going to be overthrown. He says, uh, let me read it again. Verse 22. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. And I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathens. So the most I say, he's going to destroy their strength. He's going to allow them to kill each other first. And then he's going to come out. And then Yahweh Shai and Michael, the archangels, and the angels are going to come out and finish him out. Start midway. And I will overthrow the chariots. The chariots are his planes, his tanks. You know, that's the, that's the that's the army of the so-called uh, white men, the Edomites, in the other nations. So his chariots will be with his planes. Most I say he's going to overthrow. He says, and I will overthrow his chariots and those that ride in them. So whoever's in the military, your family members, your children, your husband, your wife, they're going to be put to death, man. They're going to be put to death in this next third war, world war. Once, once, once America goes into war again, once these nations start going into war, anybody that's in the military can be put to death. All of them. Nobody's going to return. All right, he says, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them. So that's, and, and it says, and the horses and their riders shall come down. So that's talking about these military planes and these tanks, man. The Most High is going to destroy all of them. And everyone by the sword of his brother. So it's in everyone by the sword of his brothers. They let you know all these nations is going to be putting each other to death. The Russians and the Americans are, and the British and the Germans, all of them are brothers. They're going to be putting each other to death, man. You know, the Chinese and the Japanese and the uh, Venice, uh, uh, and the um, Vietnamese, all them people are brothers, man. You know, the... Um, the um, the Iranians, the Pakistanians, the, the um, East Indians, all of them are brothers, man. So all these different nations, the Ishmaelites, these Muslims, the Palestinians, and the Saudi Arabians, all these people going to be putting each other to death, man. All these brothers are going to be putting themselves to death. So that lets you know this word is standing true, man, and it's about to go down. So I thought I'd just come and give you this lesson. I hope it was edifying. 
So I just wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and end this thing with saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikak Wadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom, Yashallah.